A person who commits a crime, they may think they're clever wearing gloves and cleaning up after themselves, but they leave behind cells, hairs, and other microscopic debris that a forensic biologist can use for evidence. But before we go into how we identify hair, let's look at what a hair is. It begins in a bulb or papillae deep within the scalp, and as the cells move upward, they're going to specialize. The root sheath which is alive, eventually becomes this dead keratin outer skin called the cuticle. And that's what we see on the outside of the hair. The cortex, if you look at the cortex, it's where the color is. So if someone has brown hair, well, it wasn't a very good drawing, the, the cortex is going to be where the pigments are, right here in the cortex. And finally, the medulla, which we don't see a medulla in thin hair. So if we find a hair fragment without medulla, we think it's thin or perhaps someone from someone old. Okay, now let's take a look at, at some of these ways we categorize hair. Now I'm telling you, there's a lot more than this. What you're seeing on this chart is just the beginning. But here we see the entire bulb is club-shaped. And so that suggests that the hair was ripped out, maybe a violent movement. If it's stretched or torn also, it could be violent, absent, and sometimes it's cut. If it's cut at an angle, we think maybe that's a razor blade um, and they were shaving. Cuticle, I mentioned the cuticle. When a hair is healthy, it's going to be very smooth and flat. But when someone uses lots of chemicals, let's say for hair dyeing or hair treatment, it's going to lift those cuticles and you can see the scaly appearance. And so this suggests someone who uses a lot of product on their hair. So that's a category. Then cortex, I mentioned cortex, that's where the coloration is. And so if we see banding, which sometimes you'll see, especially with hair products, uh, different colors, like a darker shade of brown, lighter brown, and so forth, or if it's even colored, which these are, that's a category. Shaft, arched, straight, curly, which we think of uh, pubic hair, but not always. Bucking, which also can be a, a pubic kind of hair. Split ends, which are, are, are torn pieces. Particles, spectral debris, which right here we have some dandruff forming on the hair shaft microscopically. And damage, pieces missing. These and more help us to identify hair and so that we can match the suspect with evidence left behind.